stone demands a sacrifice. Of what? In order to take the stone, you must lose that which you love. Beautiful Black Widow and Hawkeye. The love story in between the baddest assassins that the Marvel Cinematic Universe has to offer are the missing link for this great story. But before we start, I want to appreciate all the viewers that are liking and commenting on my videos to, and also to all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much. And now I'm giving out $25 reward, but we need to hit a hundred likes and a hundred comments on this video for me to pick a subscriber so I can give out $25 reward. Also, if you haven't subscribed, I suggest you do it because we are trying to reach a thousand subscribers to pick one subscriber to give out a PlayStation 4. And please feel free to go to our channel and check our different content. And remember to subscribe to Cinemanium Theories so you don't miss your latest Marvel Theories. I believe this is a true love story. A love story that started all the way back when both Black Widow and Hawkeye were very young. We all know that Black Widow's path to become an assassin became at a very young age. So one thing we noticed is that the institute in which Black Widow grew up, and yes I call it an institute because I'm for them sure this is no damn ballerina school. Also, we noticed that this institute is an all-females institute and they are training women all the way from a young age to a young lady. And also, they are very strict when it comes to dialoguing or having any relationships with any man. Now, when it comes to Hawkeye, we know that at a very young age, he was a part of a circus. And when he was in a circus, he learned how to become a swordman and he became an expert in the bow and arrow. And at one point, he decided to make a costume and start fighting crime on his own. Now we're talking here about a very young Hawkeye and a very young Black Widow. I believe the Black Widow was already having assignment at that very young age in while he, she was living in that institute and now that's what I say that these guys met at a mission while he was trying to save someone and she was being the assassin also it is good to point that Hawkeye could have been looked or seen as a vigilante because police didn't want him because he was seen or looked as a criminal after being seen on a crime scene also, it has been revealed in other comics that from the beginning, Hawkeye has been in love crazy about Black Widow. So we could assume that all this that we're saying at Cinemanium Theories could be real after all. And everything will be revealed at this movie that is about to come out. Now, I believe that these two had a little relationship while Black Widow was still in that institute before she had to give herself into that surgery so she could not have any kids which I believe was the very same thing that made this great love break away now we all know that Hawkeye is a guy that family is very important for him since he lost his at a very young age and when Black Widow had to do that surgery in order to comply with all the things that was necessary for that institute for her to become a world class assassin, he saw that she was not gonna be able to give him that family. But he remained loving her and proof to that is when the witch Scarlet intervened in the fight when, when Black Widow and Hawkeye were fighting. She was like, hey, why are you pulling your punches? 
And it's funny because earlier in that very same movie, there was a scene in which Vision was holding Hawkeye and he was looking at with the wish Scarlet like, hey, why are you pulling your punches? That very same look. <laughs> and you're strong enough to <laughs> make this guy let me loose. So I believe that's why she acted kind of sarcastic when she interrupted Black Widow and Hawkeye in their fight. She was like, hey, why are you pulling your punches? Because I know you in love with her. I'm not just going to say it, you know, but I know you were just blaming me for the very same thing. And that's reference at the end of Endgame that they get so alone, both remembering their dead loves. Now, if that is not enough proof and you think I'm way out of my lane, then I will tell you this, the mother of proof when the red looking face dude tells everybody every time he gets a visit from In order to have the stone, you must lose that they should love. And Black Widow knew that. That's why she says Thanos came without his daughter and she knew that from all the way back and that's why she chooses Hawkeye to be her partner for this great mission because she knows that Hawkeye's biggest love is Black Widow. She knows that he cannot die. She must be the one that dies because she must be the sacrifice because you must let go that that you love to get the stone. And she did not love him all the way from the back that very same moment that she allowed that surgery and he walked away with the broken heart. Now it has been released that Hawkeye will have a play in this new Black Widow movie and I'm pretty sure that they will explain why the Black Widow was such a big love for Hawkeye because it must be. I mean just like the Red Skull do says in order to get the stone, you must give that that you love. But let me know what you think. Write a comment below. Let me know if this is silly, if it makes sense. I mean, just like the Red Skull do say. You must love the thing that you love. So let me know what you think. And remember to like and comment once again and subscribe. And remember, we're giving out. $25 reward just by liking, commenting, and subscribing to Cinemanium Theories, the page of all the theories that makes sense. Once again, thank you so much, and wow!